Hello everyone, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be adding power-ups and different guns to our zombie shooter in Scratch. The first thing we'll need to do is add the power-ups. Let's go and paint a new sprite and I'll call this power-up. And we're going to be uploading the power up art. You can download it in the link in the description. So I'm going to go to my art and I'm going to open the health and machine gun. Let's press open. So we have a power up that is our machine gun and a power up for our health. I'm just going to delete the first costume and let's go to our code. Let's go to events and drag out when green flag clicks. We first need to hide the power up. So that main thing is going to be showing on the screen. And we need the variable to keep track of how much power-ups are on the screen. Let's go to variables and let's make a variable called power-ups on screen. And this is just going to be make and this is just going to keep track of how much power-ups are on the screen so we don't spawn too much. So let's first set power-ups on screen to zero. And then let's drag out a forever loop. And let's first detect if power ups on screen is less than five. So we'll only have five power ups on the screen at all times. Then if it is, let's wait three seconds. Let's switch costume to pick random one to two. So we're going to be choosing either the health or the machine gun power up. Then let's create clone of myself. Now, when we start as a clone, we first need to show, and then we need to change power-ups on screen by one. Now let's go to a random position on the screen by dragging out, go to random position. And let's make sure we stay on the screen by using if on edge bounce, and then we need to rotate point in direction 90. All right, now let's drag out a forever loop so we can start detecting if we are touching the player. If we are, we need to detect which costume we're on. So if we're on the health or the machine gun power up, let's go to control and drag out if then, and let's go to operators and drag out the equals block. And let's detect if costume name is equal to health. If it is, then let's set the player health to 5, and let's collect the power up. So let's go to my blocks and make a block called collect, and let's press OK. In this block, we'll just have a little effect that'll play when we collect it. So let's repeat 10, change y by 10, let's make it change y by 5, and then let's change ghost effects. By 10 so it just has a little fade out effect then let's change power-ups on screen by minus one and then finally let's delete this clone so after we have change health by five let's collect and I just forgot this needs to be set player health to five we don't want it changing by five or else it'll go out of five like it'll go to 5 10 15 and so on Okay, now let's detect if we are on the machine gun power up. Let's duplicate this if costume name equals to health and let's make it if costume name equals machine gun. Now we need a way to detect which gun we are collecting. Let's make a variable called gun and let's press OK. So if costume name equals machine gun, let's set gun to machine gun. And I think that should be it. We also need, when I receive game over, we need to stop other scripts in the sprite just so we don't spawn any more power-ups. Okay. Let's go back to our player sprite and we'll need to be updating a few scripts in here. The first thing we'll need to do is go to our reset block 
and we need to set the gun to pistol. So this is going to be the default gun that we have. If our mouse is down, we need to have a delay between our machine gun and our pistol. So each one, each gun is going to have its own delay. So let's go to control and drag out an if then. And let's make sure the gun is equal to pistol. And if it is, we will wait 0 0.2 seconds. If the gun is equal to machine gun, then let's wait 0 0.08 seconds. So that'll be almost half of the time. Now we need different damage for each gun. So the machine gun will have left less damage, but the pistol will have more, just because it's shooting more shots. Let's make a variable called gun damage. And if the gun is equal to pistol, let's set gun damage to 1. If it's equal to machine gun, let's set gun damage to 0 0.6. So it'll do half the damage, but it'll be shooting at twice the rate. Okay, now before we can play this, we need to go to our heart sprite, and we need to fix this code. So currently, if, the, if we remove a heart, we're deleting this clone. But if we reset the hearts back to 5, there'll be, no, there'll be no more clones to replace it. So instead of delete this clone, we'll be using hide. Let's delete this block. Let's go to control and let's drag out an if then. And I'll just put this operator into the if then. And I'll remove this block. So if the player health is less than hearts plus 1, let's hide. But else, let's show. So if the player health goes back up to 5, we will show the hearts again. Okay, let's test that out. So I'm going to be hit by a zombie, and let's get the health power up. You'll see the health goes back up to 5. Now let's try the machine gun. So boom, you'll see we can have rapid fire, and I just died. So I think one last detail we can add to our game is a muzzle flash. And that's this cool effect that happens when we shoot a gun. It's kind of like a little explosion. Let's paint a new sprite. I'll call this a muzzle flash. And let's upload sprites. And I'm going to be selecting muzzle flash 1 all the way to 3. So these are three different explosions. We have one, two, three. And again, you can use the link in the description if you want to download it. So let's go to our code. And the first thing we'll need to do is when the green flag is clicked, let's hide. Just so the parent isn't going to be shown. So we won't have one extra clone on the screen. Now, when I start as a clone, we need to switch costume to pick random one, two, three, since there are three costumes. Let's also set size to pick random 50 to 100. So we'll have a random size. Then let's not forget to show Let's go to the player. Let's point in direction, direction of player. So I'll go to sensing, drag out backdrop number of stage, and I'll change this to player and direction. Then let's move 40 steps. And then let's wait like a half of a half of a second, 0 0.05. And then let's delete this clone. And you'll see that it's not showing. And the reason that is not showing it is because we need to actually create the clone of Muzzle Flash. Let's go back to the player sprite. And let's scroll down here to when I create a clone of bullets. And we also need to be creating a clone of the Muzzle Flash. So I'll drag out create clone of Muzzle Flash. So now our muzzle flash is showing on the screen. And I'm going to change this maybe to 90 steps. No, let's try 70. Okay, there we go. 
So our muzzle flash is showing on the screen. Awesome. So we have this cool little effect and we have power-ups. Let's try to get the machine gun. It has rapid fire. Oh, I'm about to die. Ah, I died. Okay. That's the end of this tutorial. If you want to have more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe and smash the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.